Now, you are talking about the very serious uh, situation of Ukrainian children being taken to Belarus for permanent residence against their parents' wishes. And how has this all happened? Firstly, what I want to mention, our team, my team, National Crisis Management, prepared a special report, a preliminary report about the role of Lukashenko regime and the Union state of Belarus and Russia in the illegal transfer and our re-education of Ukrainian children. Illegal transfer of the civilian population from the occupied territories of Ukraine to the territory of Belarus and Russia with the aim to permanently or temporarily displace such person, it is in fact military crime. And we are talking firstly about orphans and Lukashenko's regime illegally transfer these orphans to the territory of Belarus. It is a grave breach, Geneva Convention and the war crime under the Rome Statute. Some may claim the voluntary decision of parents. However, among transferred children, some are orphans, some are social orphans, some are from low-income families. And Pavel, who is organizing this trafficking? Uh, personally, Lukashenko and his regime are organizing the illegal transfer of Ukrainian children to the territory of Belarus, as well as to the territory of Russia, what I want to mention. And it is very important to understand that Lukashenko is organizing the illegal transfer of Ukrainian children to the territory of Belarus and Russia under the umbrella of the so-called Union state of Belarus and Russia. Lukashenko is a small boss of Putin in this union state. He is the chief of the Supreme Council of this union. Lukashenko personally signed resolutions and all financial documents that provide financial support of children's transfer. And we have all these documents at our disposal. disposal. And tell us what has been done to those children when they uh, get to uh, Belarus um, uh, what happens to their passports and is part of the plan to indoctrinate them into a, a Russian way of, of thinking. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, now we have information about three places, precisely three places, places where Ukrainian children are being held. Two in Minsk region near the capital of Belarus and one in Komil region near the border with Ukraine. Regime invites propagandists who tell that Ukraine has an illegal government and that Ukraine is part of the Russian world, invite representatives of uh, paramilitary organizations, YOS paramilitary organizations, both Belarusian and Russian, uh, who teach little Ukrainians to believe that Ukraine is a country of Nazism and fascism. Uh, we confirm that one foundation, Belarusian Foundation, Alexei Talai Foundation, is also involved in this. This person is very close to Lukashenko. Also, the company, state-owned company, Belarus Kali, is strongly involved. Belarus Kali is the main supplier of potassium fertilizers in the world. By the way, a number of European countries would like to exclude this company from US and European Union sanctions, but it is unacceptable because we have a full 100% proof that the Belarus Kali company is financing the deportation of Ukrainian children to Belarus. It is a military crime. And so, um, Pavel, what what happens now? What would you like to see from uh, the international community? Um, should this be treated as a, a, a war crime? Yeah, absolutely. We uh, prepared our documents, uh, which we will uh, send to Prosecutor Hunt, to the International Tribunal. And we have reasonable ground um, to believe that Lukashenko and a wide range of his officials uh, of his regime um, committed war crimes today uh, by the deportation on tra illegal transferring Ukrainian children to the territory of uh, Belarus. Of course, uh, we uh, cooperate with Ukrainian side. We send our preliminary report to the General Prosecutor Office of Ukraine. By the way, the Verkhovna Rada has even amended 
its resolution where it emphasized Lukashenko's role as well as uh, resolution parliamentary assembly was amended on the base uh, parliamentary assembly of the Council of Europe was amended by on the base of our report.